Hello guys, just a quick one before we do get into today's video. We have dropped our brand new March collection. We've got the Serial Dessas Ronaldo 90, along with the Philippe Clement World's Best Boss Tee. Do shop the collection by going down into the link in the description, or go to rfcclothing.com. Thank you, let's get back into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Guys, as always, going to be going over all the latest Rangers news from the last 24 hours and of course discuss the possibility of Fabio Silva signing permanently for the football club. Guys, first and foremost, we have the drawn heart of Midlovian in the Scottish Cup. Celtic, of course, have got Aberdeen which does probably equate it to being a Celtic versus either Rangers or Hearts in the final because we know Aberdeen don't show up against Celtic whatsoever, let alone at Hamden. So um, I think Celtic will definitely be in the final. I think Rangers will be in the final as well. But we have got our work cut out against a Hearts side. I don't think we've got a very good record against Hearts at Hamden, in, in all honesty. Um, but obviously a great side so far this campaign. Yes, we did beat them 5-0. But if you're looking at the, the fixture congestion list and where the game is sandwiched in between... Um, um, it will still be a tough test, and um, but I'm still very, very confident of us getting to the final of the Scottish Cup and actually going on to win it. So hopefully we can set up an old firm affair in that final um, and of course keep uh, competing on all three fronts that we do have left. Of course, Benfica is next up for Rangers on Thursday, a game I'm really looking forward to, a game I'm confident about and a game um, that I hope we progress in. As I stated, a lot of people... In the Rangers fan base, not everyone, of course. Some people do share, of course, the same opinion as me, are stating that it's probably better to quote unquote chuck the Europa League. But I, I keep that same sort of faith that the manager's got, and I want Rangers to win absolutely every game we go into. And I would love for us to get to the quarterfinal of the Europa League and keep on progressing and just see how far we can get because we can still win the league title and we can still win the Scottish Cup as well. Let's just keep going, keep the winning machine running. Um, and yeah, hopefully uh, we get another win come through. Thursday. Now, of course, uh, our last game was against Hibernian in the Scottish Cup, a 2-0 win. Um, and as stated, uh, that game did come with its sort of controversy, sort of red cards, and everything, let's be perfectly honest. Um, but following it, Hibernian have now decided to cut the old firm's allo way allocation. Yes, both Rangers and Celtic are going to be getting a reduced away allocation at Easter Road. And that's now going to so basically sparked today's first debate. And are the other clubs within the Scottish Premiership killing the away day experience? Um, I personally do think so. Because if you watch any game in the Scottish Premiership, bar the old firm, maybe Hearts. I'll give Hearts their due. I'll give Hearts their due ever so slightly. But every other stadium throughout the Scottish Premiership is completely empty. Completely empty. No matter if Rangers and Celtic are coming to town, no matter what weekday it is, they're always empty. Now, cutting our way down our away allocations, only shooting them in the foot because, well... Um they're missing out on money, I suppose, from our supporters, and we're filling that in four times a season, should they get lucky and get into the split. Sorry, two times a season, um, should they get lucky or going into the split. But also, as well, it's now going to create more trouble, in my, in my opinion, because... You're cutting our away allocation down. That doesn't mean the Rangers fans that go on these away days aren't just going to fill themselves up in the empty seats in the home end. Um, and now I see it every single week when we do play, in, or every other week when we do play an away match, I'm always seeing people cheering in the home end. So it's not going to make a difference. It's probably just going to cause them more of a problem and more Rangers fans will just infiltrate the home end because there's far too many, uh, and, and for Celtic for that matter, there's far too many old firm supporters to cut away allocations down. I'm not sure why they're trying to do that. Um, but certainly from a Hibs perspective, they probably do need to look towards their fans first before looking at the away fans with causing trouble. You know, Hibernian, and I, I'd see, you only had to watch the Edinburgh derby and what they were throwing at Lawrence Shankland, uh, for an example. So they probably need to tidy up their own home end first and then implement decisions into the away end. But um, certainly a, a really weird decision that I, I've seen come that way. I'm not sure why they're cutting the away allocation for the old firm. We kind of do give them a decent cash boost every Every single season so yeah um, I mean make it all they will it won't stop Rangers fans from infiltrating the stadium and seeing us support our team 
Now, following that game as well, guys, of course, the big man, Fabio Silva, did score a goal. And now, um, you see, he was asked questions. Rangers fans starting to love him. As I say, guys, don't fall in love with a lone player. Usually, that never works out. Um, and basically, he actually hinted that he could potentially stay beyond his loan contract. He said, I love being here. I don't control these things 100%. It's not 100% my decision to stay. If it was up to me, then maybe yes. But I could say yes, and then you have a lot of things to still be taken care of. But Perhaps I have the least impact into whether I stay here, but we have two months to enjoy the football, to win titles, and I think after that, if we win trophies and everything goes well, Rangers and I will do everything for me to stay. When you see me playing with a smile on my face, I think everything's going the right way. I enjoy playing here, playing for the fans, the staff, the, my teammates. It's a pleasure to be here. I enjoy it a lot. I've been trying to get back my happiness, and they've been giving me that. Well, with a player who's actually coming out and stating that they want to to, to go on and stay at the football club. I think that's clear as day. Obviously, he gave us the kind of remark that it's not up to him, which is actually true because there's a huge stumbling block in the way as to why Rangers could potentially not make this deal feasible. And that is that he cost Wolverhampton Wanderers £35 million. Now, Rangers aren't going to fork out £35 million or anywhere near that for Fabio Silva, unfortunately. And to be fair, Wolves are in the uh, hot seat for bargaining and negotiating because he still does have two years left on his contract is expiring his contract doesn't expire until the end of two well the summer of 2026 meaning he's pretty much just got over two years left on that deal so as stated Wolves will want a lot of money uh, for the player however one caveat towards that potentially is that well he does well and Rangers somehow negotiate another year loan. That would take us down to another year. I could certainly see that happen with potentially a buyout option, a fairly healthy buyout option come the end of that loan contract, uh, which would see him into his final year and maybe see Rangers get him for a cut price fee, depending on how well he does, but somewhere probably in the region of £10 million, which... I would do. I would pay for. You know, there's a lot of pedigree there. He's just settling in at this moment in time. And we'll judge him a bit further on down the line in terms of the end of the season. Um, but I am certainly see there's a pedigree there. He's still such a young player. He would certainly fit our business model. And if we were to buy him for £10 million, he would have that sort of age on his side that when he gets into his peak, he could probably earn us £20 million. You never know, £25 million. So he could turn us a profit. It does fit within our business system. But certainly one to watch. I don't think we're going to match that asking price in this summer probably the most feasible way is to get him on another year loan contract but if Fabio wants to stay then obviously he can he holds some of the chips in his corner as well so I would love for, for him to stay I think he's certainly showing that he's got a bit about him however I do still feel like it's very very early to say whether he would be the next uh, Rangers permanent signing at this moment in time I hope he continues to do well um, but we need to see it for more of a longer period of time and then we can make a judgment then uh, but Rangers fans do let me know your thoughts first and foremost on the Hibs cutting our allocation also, let me know your thoughts on Fabio Silva's thoughts, uh, his, his words on stating that he potentially would like to stay at Rangers um, going forward. And do you see Rangers in, do you see a world where Rangers actually fork out the money for him? Yes or no? Let me know down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. And remember, guys, do check out the brand new drop. Yes, we have got a serial Dessas, Ronaldo 90. Yes, go get that one. It's an absolute beauty. Along with Philippe Clement's world's best boss. Um, do check them out we have got a lot of other designs within our website as stated they are very very good quality so as said uh, browse the collection uh, by going down into the link in the description or go to rfcclothing.com thank you guys and i'll see you next time take care push